<laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> it's uh, what, 10 hours away to the car show time? 12 hours away to the car show time? I don't know what the weather's gonna be. Don't give a shit. Rain comes, I'm gonna punch it right in the face. Food is leaving today. It's Friday, it's going home. I don't want to head to do. I'm happy with that. Robert's not coming out of here. Anyways, this is what I want to do for Friday's video. This is what I got. Car show time. We have, we have a band. Let's take a look there and show them a little bit. We have bands. We we'll have four bands. That's just a little stage going on right there. Hey, let's see something. <laughs> uh, bands go there. All the cars go out here. Um, the tattoo guys are down at my house. There's another tattoo girl showing up. They have their own little trailer. Um, these are all the people that have helped me, right, by the way. That's my son right there, Mom Taz. These are two tags. They call them tag along. Uh, this is what I'm going to do at the car show also. We have tattoos and all that sort of stuff. We have a pin-up contest. But during the weekend, I usually do something. Cut the roof off a car, put it back on, whatever. Just show them how, how I do it. So what I've got is this 32 Ford I found in the woods. I made a video about it a long time ago. And I paid $400 for it because in the woods it was made into a tractor. So the front end is what I got. The rear end quarter panels I kind of I picked up from somebody and I kind of just placed them on there. Hopefully you want to give me a hand and take them off. So what you'll see is just if I take this pair of cards, that's just, I can pull them and want the trunk lid so I square, tu square tubed it. And then I cut a piece of rusty metal out of an old car. So this is what I've done. These are just the old quarter panels that I got a friend in Milford I just got. Um, I took some rusty metal and made some pieces in here and just welded it on so I could get it the quarter panels to stay together. I haven't ground nothing or anything. It was just a piece. I had a small piece in here. This piece was here like that. It didn't work for the roaster, so I just cut it in half, put that piece down there, piece here, and then made a piece of metal in between. That's just a piece of metal I had up back with this body line on. I'm gonna finish it around with rusty metal too. I'm not gonna finish it nice, I'm gonna leave it rusty. I wanna finish everything rusty. This was an old truck, so I'm gonna cut all this stuff out. I'm gonna weld these pieces of frame rails on there. I made them a long time ago to set them on there for Chips and giggles. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to try to make a car of that this weekend, just for, just because I says I can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all this stuff out. I'm going to square two a floor for a skeleton for a floor. I'm going to weld my quarter panels to it. I'm going to put cross members in it. I'm going to put wood in the cross members all the way back. I'm going to weld the frame on. Also, if you want something bad enough, you'll make it. And this is what I got. I got a 39 Plymouth Ford that was given to me. Why do I get his name mixed up all the time? Ash. Given to me by Ash, a 37 Dodge. We did his fenders and truck. He gave me these doors. And I like this door because it's got this wide body line on here and it kind of matches them quarter panels. That's 31, I think. So what, I'm, what I've done, or what I will do on the weekend, going to Carriage River, you see I'm gonna cut the tops of the doors off. I'm going to measure down, see how long the door I'm going to cut the bottom of the door off. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut this, this support here and pull this lip off. I'm going to move it back to the length the door should be. And then I'm going to fold this lip, cut this lip off and fold it back over on the door. I'm going to stick hinges on there. I'm going to put it on that and I'm going to mount them quarter panels. All in one weekend. I hope I get, I hope I get a little bit of help. So this is what it looks like. These are the doors. This is the door top off the other door. And what I've done just to show you what I'm going to do, or my plan is, is to make this door with the top cut off it and the bottom cut off it and fit this car. So all I'm going to do is set this door on a piece of metal. I'll trace that onto a piece of metal and cap the bottom of that door, just like I'm going to cap the top of the door. And when I do that, if I pull this door, that door doesn't fit that quarter panel too bad. It's got the same, you know, it's not perfectly the same. Don't give a shit. I'm building myself a hot rod. You know what I'm saying? So that there is about close. I've got to cut it off the same length. I'm going to mount this door on here. I'm going to have to cut this out. And I'm going to put it back in. Like I said, cut that lip off and bend that lip over. Then I'm going to mount this door on here. And I'm going to put a hinge on it. I'm going to skeleton all the floor square tubing. And I'm going to mount that to the square tubing. I'm going to have the doors open and closing on this car, this weekend. Wish me luck. I'll need it. There'll be a bit of sparks line, but what the hell?
Fuck, it's nice out. Have a good Friday. See you at the car show. Come buy a ticket on that truck. If you don't buy a ticket, you can't win. Jesus bought a ticket. <laughs>